Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In this chapter, we will review using the research pane within Word. Note that this pane no longer appears by default within Word starting with 2013 and must be added to the Quick Access Toolbar or the Ribbon before it can be used. The research pane functions as a dictionary, thesaurus, encyclopedic reference, and translation tool all in one. Also note that you can purchase additional plugins from legal reference vendors such as FindLaw and LexisNexis that can add additional reference material to this pane. These third-party plugins allow you to do research while creating your legal research papers within Word without having to open a separate browser window. You can add the Research button to the Quick Access Toolbar in order to access the Research pane. To do this, click the Customize Quick Access Toolbar drop-down button at the right end of the Quick Access Toolbar and select the More Commands choice from the drop-down menu that appears. Within the Word Options dialog box that opens, select the All Commands choice from the Choose Commands From drop-down. Then select the Research command within the list below the drop-down and click the Add button to move the Research command to the right list. Then click the OK button at the bottom of the Word Options dialog box to add that command button to the Quick Access Toolbar. You can then click the Research button within the Quick Access Toolbar to display the Research pane at the right side of the Word Application window. You can hide the Research pane by clicking the small X button that appears in the upper right corner of the Research pane or by clicking the Research button within the Quick Access Toolbar again. Within the Research pane, you can select a specific type of research provider from the drop-down menu that appears at the top of the window. You can then hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, and then click on any of the words that you have typed into your research paper to quickly reference the words that you click using the reference source or sources you selected. You can also use the drop-down to select another reference source to search for the selected term if needed. Any results that are found will be displayed at the bottom of the research pane. If you don't want to use the Alt key text selection method to search for terms, then note that you can simply click into the Search for Text box at the top of the pane and then enter a term for which to search. Then click the adjacent Start Searching button to search for the term that you entered. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.